David, do you want to keep doing the key jangling or do you want someone to go get it? I'm not so annoying. Okay. No, no, it's kind of fun. I get it. Okay. Yeah. Video game? <laughs> yeah, it's a video game. Yeah, it's good. Um, and Nadler's going to share as well. Oh, okay. Good morning. Cool. And we have an overflow room down the hall. Good morning. 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 Good and I think there's an older closer. Do you want me to plan now or no? Uh, hold it just a sec. Um, so, actually, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do it in the middle. Okay. Yeah, I can do it on the side. Please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I I just want to know. Oh, I should say, yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 Your title still going to be gay or not? No. <laughs> 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 yes, I want that. Uh, I want that. I heard it was that. Yeah, what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Uh, no, no. Find the no. Yeah. This is kind of automatic for you. No, I'm the DJ. You do it. <laughs> okay, so welcome back or welcome to uh, the first time that you're joining today. Um, so just uh, before uh, this morning's talks, just a comment, we'll have a group photo at noon, which is right after Sasha Bravo will talk, and it's going to be on the left out front. So try to make your way sufficiently to the out front, and I don't think you'll have a little bit on the steps out front. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so anyway, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Roman Bezra Kalmikov from the other university in Cambridge. <laughs> we'll talk about uh, from affine Hecate category to variant distributions. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, thanks for this opportunity. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'll be talking just uh, to the general way. Uh, so this is based on the general project of the invention of the novel. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and also a sub, uh, another paper which is then just for Yasha, and, um, and then I'll mention uh, different approach, which is to Students, and uh, time permitting, I will uh, um, potential generalization and function. But like I won't have much time to talk. Okay, so, uh, what is it about? Uh, so we start with a PhD group. And so G is here uh, there. And uh, G is what I'm going to split. Reductive group. And F, well, let me uh, to be on the safe side. Yes. 
And uh, the general direction is that we want to uh, <clears throat> study harmonic, uh, solve problems of harmonic analysis on G. Um, uh, uh, using analytic sheets and uh, generalizing some classical uh, results. Uh, um, uh, about financial other groups. Uh, but um, yeah, we are not the only people doing something like that. So uh, in terms of, you know, uh, from a far enough distance that maybe uh, look close to uh, and uh, from even further distance maybe to Peter Schultz and his collaborators are working on. But so our projects in different tour starts, first we do it much slower. <laughs> <laughs> and the second is that uh, we work sort of um, on the ge with geometric objects as uh, far as long as we can, and then just uh, take sort of trace of Rubinius in the end. So kind of this way we start stay as far uh, away from arithmetic as possible. So I guess, uh, yeah, well, you, this will be maybe somewhat clearer later, but uh, we start with schedule of shifts, and then there are these two uh, uh, procedures of taking trace that people call horizontal trace. Trace. So uh, we kind of do it in, in the different order than other people. Uh, so that's if you describe it in DPFT language, but I'm also trying to stay from quantum field theory as far as possible, so we'll not be using this language. <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh, so for today, well, um, uh, <clears throat> ideally, eventually, we'll uh, be able to say uh, to, 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 to a study in general uh, characters in distributions of interest. For today, we mostly focus on a unipotent of part of the spectrum, so unipotent linear distributions. And so maybe I will need uh, to recall a few things. Uh, so uh, to to. Uh, so even everyone is on this page. So first of all, we fix um, um, uh, well, we can take S to be the a, a ring of so this is algebra for the of them. Uh, and so these representations are the same. Uh, uh, representations of this algebra, so in a variant distribution, uh, is just a, uh, uh, is a linear functional, so S is an element in this space, so S G. G, which is of course the same as G star, which is the same as S modulo the commutant, just a linear function. This. So I will call this the person term. Okay, and so for me, uh, I will, uh, it will be important to isolate the sub algebra, so we fix. And you are for a subgroup. Maximum solvable subgroup in G, and then we have this H, which is the S. So these are just uh, binary equations. Uh, uh, so, um, 
uh, in a very classical fat is uh, the first that the representations H uh, in bijection with the uh, representations of G and keeping the details of the definition, but uh, so generated. By I I am very intelligent. And uh and so and so second if we take the cross center for the and find oh this heavy algebra, then this is a direct summoned in the cross center. And okay, so just to recall another classical thing, so irreducible uh, representations uh, as in one were classified by the non linguistic in uh, 1987, and so this is a special case. Uh, uh, special case of local advanced conjectures. And uh, so let me uh, quickly recall this. So then the injection What does it mean direct summon? Is it like, a, it's a vector space, right? Yes. So it's a canonical. It's canonical. <clears throat> we have the data uh, as to sign. And where, so now we need to introduce the language dual, rho g chap. And let's say uh, um, S is semi simple. U is uh, unipotent. Chap. Uh, and uh, as uh, in the new commute, and psi <clears throat> is a, a representation <clears throat> of the group of components of the sim sim simultaneous centralizer in the chart, but not all the components appear. So maybe in the rest of time, I will not state the, con the, the condition, uh, but um, maybe I'll just say that this condition is uh, automatic, is backwards for, GL for GLN, but, but it is not true in general. Uh, and so, uh, uh, but so this can be generalized. So uh, uh, this was extended by this chick. Uh, to uh, classify uh, a bigger set of representations. And maybe at this point, I will only give the answer, but I'll not like, go into details of uh, I are. And so uh, irreducible, uh, important representation, it's a larger class. Representations are projections with all people's answers. So if you want us and you to you can you can. I can, but <clears throat> this is also correct because using like Jacobson Mars, if you can, yeah, in a way it would be can philosophical. Uh, that's not uh, yeah, maybe maybe I will let you be. Thank you. So, uh, so I'll turn it to me. This is also in great action. Exactly. 
and as you exercise such that as you is due to the view as or as is as is. But well, Q is a cardinality of the residue field. But here's injection or the theorem, you can find it by injection. Okay, so uh you assume that the restriction of size of the central is clear because you fix the chip. Yes, yes, thank you. So, uh, uh, so uh, maybe for simplicity, I uh, assume that uh, you can see that G is simply connected. Uh, so, uh, yeah, one, one of the sort of, uh, uh, yeah, so, so the thing uh, to say here is that um, the set of unipotent representations uh, uh, is a union of, of L packets, and so this is a kind of general. You know, conjectural you know, theory which partitions all irreducible representations find in some sense. And uh at time I will mention one of the goals here is to uh, uh, prove uh, uh, desired statements in the important case, but I will maybe uh, say more about this um, if I have time. But again, this is in contrast with the uh, set of uh, representations generated by I Baptist. In fact, the L packets in terms of this classification is just a subset that you get if you fix S and U on the right side. Could you repeat that? The last sentence? The set of unipotent representations is a union of L packets. About S U. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> No condition. No condition. It's not about what's on the board, it's just that has to be brought. The question was not about what's on the board now, but rather what you said after you brought. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, all right, the, the, the basically a slogan uh, like um, that uh, principle that we uh, the theorem I want to explain realizes is that although uh, there are more unipotent representations than representations of the Hick algebra, if you pass to categorification, if you categorify the Hick algebra, then it kind of remembers all unipotent representations and all uh, also remembers the corresponding part of harmonic analysis. Yeah, so uh, I, uh, one kind of a point uh, to, I will uh, mention about uh, well, we later, so another elementary fact. So we uh, considered the spot center, the space was dual with the space of the distributions, and we said uh, is equal, uh, well, maybe I will always see because temporarily because it's a cost center. And so we uh, said that this is the complement, uh, this is some of this uh, plus the complement, but it, you can also split it as the uh, unimportant part plus non unimportant part. So this is strictly bigger than this. You, you, you can characterize this as the closure uh, of uh, the span of unipotent characters. Okay. <clears throat> uh, next one. Five minutes to explain in detail, but this is uh, to remember. And then, uh, yeah, so, so all the... No, it's probably not the yeah. point, but is, is the complement with respect to some other is 
Mm, well, I mean, the, I'm just thinking about it in terms of the, you know, there is a splitting in terms of bursting components. It is just that the ring splits as a direct sum. So by, by burst and oh, the ring and the split as a big direct sum. Uh -huh. And so this splitting of the uh, HH0 of the cos center is induced by the oh, yeah. There are some components that are important in the sandwich. So, so okay. aren't characters elements of the dual space? Exactly, yes. So what do you mean, closure of split of character? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the dual space, yes. So this is our token of thinking. Um, uh, and yes, so uh, we said that essentially this uh, Uh, characters of your equations are by well, basically by what uh, a partial linear right we want <laughs> here. So we uh, so so we want to understand this. Okay. And so to uh, motivate it, I now want to introduce simplification. So H means a continuification. Uh, which is a fine continuity. So, so it's a case of logic shifts on the whole group modular. So, um, the portion, the loop group by the algebraic group uh, is going to Lahari. Uh, and it, it, you get the fine flavor variety, and then you get um, uh, and consider that we can respond to the this. So, this is a fine figure. Uh, by the way, maybe I want to mention just to say something besides some potentially useful, so I may well mention technical point. So now I is something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. In so this is geometry, yeah. So we're yes, going to do uh, numbers. <laughs> I is. Okay, so the technical point is uh, just how to reconstruct, I mean, what, 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 this, what does this word mean? And uh, it's just, um, there are different uh, approaches to uh, making sense of this uh, in the literature. And I just, uh, we're using something different, perhaps more elementary uh, other authors. Uh, so uh, just, uh, so how to reconstruct uh, this space from this category? Well, of course, uh, you reconstruct the category, uh, the space from the category where the action of the linears. Yeah. By the way, uh, when you wrote I is I part of FQ, do you mean that your local field has positive characteristics? I, I said so. Uh, ah, yes. And yes, there was generalizations. Then. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, um, yeah, so this is an automorphism of the category. And uh, yeah, we kind of uh, want to take the trace of this for Venus, but so we can do it in the following uh, uh, way. You can just take. Uh, right, let's see. U, uh, H. So where uh, by definition I do the following. I take the K group of equivariant uh, objects, 
categories are just wave shapes. And then uh, on this, uh, like you have a covariant object and yet you have a uh, vector space with an automorphism, so a Z module, and you can just twist it. And so you, uh, so in this category, we get the action of the category of representations of Z. And so what is the category capable of the category of representations of Z? Well, this is just a group out of, uh, of say, complex representations of C star. And group out of the that means the canonical homomorphism to C, sending lambda to lambda, and then So this kind of uh, trick could swap to elementary categorization actually turns out to be useful here and um, yeah, uh, and later. I think I don't know if I should ask this question, but uh, would there be a word that would be set of complex numbers? Yeah, yeah. So this category uh, can be defined over complex numbers, right? Meaning I want to do the over the uh, distributions on a on the space out of the oh, no, like, like a real group or real yeah. oh that's uh, that's very interesting, but yeah, I I am not prepared to say that. Um, okay. Okay. So uh, now, um, so this is our category, and then we can uh, so like according to my principle, and I want to add geometrically. So uh, I forget for the uh, for a second, and I just go to the core center of the category. So this was uh, likely computed some years ago, but it's wrong. So there is a um, and to state it, I want to do something. Which is a sub which is chapter. It, okay, it doesn't matter really so much, but what I think uh, uh, the algebra group because it's really uh, a set of pairs X G. So that they can use and uh, e is uh, wise and uh, there's a theorem by um, uh, uh, David, uh, David and Charlie which says that there is a universal. Uh, or commutate the function from H to so probably one ah, so e, 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 e equals e. E. Yes, the yes. formula. Yes, <laughs> just the type. Just the type. You know what G equals G. It's an obvious function. Which uh, expresses, which relates uh, um, H to uh, full center of H to Z. Uh, basically, or G check of C. Okay, so first of all, uh, yeah, and the, the, the fact that this is a universal community uh, the function, in other words, they sort of in this categorical world, so this is a core center of this monogamy category, and I will not. Uh, so this is a bit imprecise because uh, there are some maybe conditions on the um, logical support or something, but they will not import, be important for me. So uh, leave it at that. And of course, this is so. This is based on what is the theorem? So, so what is the theorem? Is it a functor or equivalence or what? no? No, it's not an equivalence. So it's uh, it says here universal commutator. Uh, So it's based on an equivalence that I proved before that, and uh, which is uh, one uh, realization 
Eight. No. Oh, yeah, I need to eight. Yeah, I need to eight. Oh, until the stuff is done. Would you check until explain your evolution? Uh, yeah, and this should be taken as the right scheme. It's not worry about that. In fact, this uh, maybe makes sense to write this in fact. So in this realization, the fonte is really not hard to write down, it's just saying that it's probably this universal and writing checking this commutator font is also routine. Probably this universal may be much more. So, so, so when you say the right scheme, this means that taking product of a G check is not the same as over M, right? Yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, so here, maybe I'll just write a diagram, so the correspondence. And so basically this, uh, so non, non standard variety, so it parameterizes two barrels and an element of the intersection. So uh, here we just have some element G flex. Oops. And here we have just one flag, we have X where X is in uh, yeah, a radical radical. If X is in the radical B and GX is G, there is no condition connecting G and X, but so, so sorry, connecting B and G. So the map sends this to here. It's obvious you just forget B and here you take B and GX to Okay, so this is uh, something rather neutral, but okay, so now maybe I can state a theorem. So this is something. Question of this, uh, it's, it's uh, Jan. Okay, so the, we will, it's basically we'll give the answer for this uh, C unipotent. It's going to be naturally isomorphic too, and I will give several forms of the answer. But the first form of the answer is that this is a Q. Um, of this category where by this I mean that I do the procedure that I explained, but uh, so uh, here Q is the automorphism. There was this construction that involved the category with automorphism and the automorphism I'm employing here it sends E G yes to Q Roma, I'm sorry. So so what is this PGX uh, set of PGXs? What does it have to do with the line above? No, it doesn't have to do with the line above, it has to do with what was written here. Ah. It's an explanation of so I quoted the theorem uh, David or David. And um, so it says that there is a universal font. I'm just saying that this font, I'm just making it more complete. Uh, I'm just saying oh, that this font is given by a correspondence. Uh, 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 so this is the correspondence. So this is uh, this. And this is uh, X, X times G, probably, yes. GX is 
Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. So, uh, so this is the first form, so, which is kind of nice, but uh, we want to make it more concrete too. Um, connected to things, and so. Uh, um, yeah, so we uh, I'll just uh, uh, I want to rewrite the right hand side. So this will be already some work on purely with coherent sheets. And uh, so the first way to rewrite that will be that uh, you sorry, yes, important things are what is C what do you call C universal? Not universal, but unipotent percent. Z is this variety here. It's just just the commuting pairs where one is uh, element is important. When one one is what is important or you important. Okay. Then we take the trace of this automorphism dilating this important element. By Q, but uh, the tracing is finely sensible. Hmm? Q is the cardinality of the residue. Yeah, so K again. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, so secretly in this case, it can also be, maybe I'll say that right now. It, in this case, it can be also written the following way. You can see, it, of course, this called GM acting. So we can also consider the category of uh, G check times GM equivalent shifts and then tensor over this K of GM. Uh, send the engineer to Q. This may be more traditional uh, way to uh, make it work, but uh, in this case, you can use both, but I mean, in some other cases, it's, it's better. Uh, well, what's the difference between the huh? I didn't understand what is a priori the difference between so We decided that. Right. Maybe let's discuss it. So you can consider the just you have one automorphism. Yes. And then you take the category of equivariant objects, take this K group, and then you tensor over K of Z with C. That's what that I the other thing, thing is you can take K uh, of GM. So you hear this automorphism comes from GM actually. Take the category, take over the over GM. Yeah, yeah. Again, this may be fine. Okay, so, so yes, yeah, so, so uh, I just want to, yeah, purely. Uh, uh, okay, this is a point of algebra, right? Ah, so, no, 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 Right, so uh, of course we can, uh, uh, like this uh, uh, element of X or E in this pair, it runs over an important cone, and of course we can filter things uh, by an important orbit. Uh, but uh, here we get a, like, due to the fact that we use kind of engineering Q, we actually get a splitting into the dark sum. So it's a dark sum. Over n uh, modular integration, so when you plot an orbit, check of uh, some contribution, and this contribution turns out to be uh, just a k group of uh, the variant sheet. On a, so, so, so z e will be the reductive, uh, maximum reductive subgroup uh, in the central line. Okay, so this is uh, now some, you know, yeah, more classical object in algebraic group theory, just the uh, shapes like the variant. And now uh, the second way is some uh, already in general, if H is reductive group, but it uh, has to be. Um, 
not necessarily connected. It's actually the answer is kind of boring if it's connected and simply connected, but even though this condition is relaxed, then you get some interesting. And so I just want to give an answer to what this is. Uh, so I claim that this is, okay, let me write first. Notation, it will be or L. So, what does it mean? So, um, <clears throat> yes, yes, okay, maybe I'll rewrite it. So, yes, so, so. <laughs> Where well, L is the following. So we uh so form H is um uh the set of commuting pairs. And then, uh, or else we can consider we consider conjugation invariant uh, uh, um, functions conjugation uh, uh, invariant uh, functions which satisfy the following additional constraint. Uh, that for any y, the function x goes to x y is locally constant. By the way, I think for connected H by uh, a result of uh, uh, David and Mandler. And uh, this is reduced, uh, so this is kind of nice, maybe. Uh, but uh, okay, uh, be nice to extend this res the result of this generality, uh, but we don't really use that. Uh, and um, most of the addition is not symmetric, it is not symmetric, absolutely. Yes, this is what L stands for. Right? Yes, this is because it's L, right? <laughs> so basically, okay, what's happening here? So, the first element in which it is locally constant, it is the sort of element in this commuting pair, X is kind of G, and its meaning gives the endoscopic parameter. And the second element. In which it is not locally constant history is kind of plays a role of the so, so and so yeah, maybe I should say that you know the map is very easy to describe. So f uh, uh, goes to the function f f uh, of x y equal to trace of y on the final of x, and uh, it's kind of basically locally so. Local constancy of all occurred. Of course, when I mean uh, trace, I mean like, all der derived fiber uh, yeah, uh, genetic sum, and uh, basically by locally constant. So, so since all characteristic is locally constant in families, it follows that this is locally constant in X, but not in the So, so H is a PH group now? Or no, H is a very group of C. That's what So, uh, uh, so what does it make locally constant? So it's kind of could be an exercise in algebraic groups plus a few teachers. Locally constant in the uh, complex topology function. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. So, uh, so this is the first theorem, and uh, yeah, there are. So I have about like fifteen minutes. So uh, let's see what I. Uh, want to say about it. So um I don't have a question so I know I'm just giving a digit statement just for crazy. Yeah. And then uh, so the fact that this uh the right hand side decomposed this is a direct sum of an important orbits is it obvious no it's not obvious but yes okay since you asked this this is the next thing I'm gonna say and so uh so remark 
And again, this is something that should be uh, very, uh, should hold very, very generally, uh, you know, in harmonic analysis, but we only see it on this uniform part. But uh, so on, so yeah, about the splitting indexed uh, by M one in our you see. Well, uh, I introduced it on this called uniform part, but it's also induces such a splitting on the um, on the cost center here, and it can be um, uh, obtained in a different way uh, based on our joint paper with Sasha and Kerzan. Uh, and so, uh, yes, uh, so, so. Uh, namely, there is this, I, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I just, uh, there is this homomorphism from H to J, which is asymptotic Hick algebra, uh, which I will not have time to uh, recall in detail, but uh, J, is kind of by definition, so sorry, and this is a homomorphism and the theorem uh, by whom? By maybe uh, Sasha. Uh, so. And also, uh, so. Uh, uh, so, yeah, also my students, Galina Dabrowska and Sasha's former students, Stefan Dabidek. So, in any case, so, so it says that this homomorphism, so this was defined by Lustig. Uh, but our uh, theorem says that it induces an isomorphism on the cos centers. And this algebra J is by uh, whatever it is, it's uh, kind of is known to be the dark, just the algebra splits the dark sum over the important orbits. So certainly it's cos center splits. And in fact, to, uh, I promised to mention the result. Uh, so, so uh, so JE can be also realized geometrically, it's namely it's capable of sheet the variant on certain algebraic variety uh, inside uh, until so basically uh, so E is a important element and the B E is pretty much <clears throat> in the spring of resolution so just a string of fiber and the point is that we make a C star actor using the Jacobson Morris uh, and then this turns out to be a smooth projective right so this is uh was conjecture she and myself uh, uh, So again, so I, I kind of, yeah, I should mention that this, this was defined by uh, Lustig and then in Sasha's uh, work with uh, Kardan, this is uh, definition is somewhat generalized. And so now based on this work, we can define the map from S. <laughs> There is some generalization of J receiving MF from S from all distributions, and then uh, this picture should somehow generalize. Um, I was saying that my original question was different. So I was just talking about, so if you think this K theory had it on the right hand side of the theorem that we raised, can you, can you see just purely in terms of K theory, can you see that it splits? Well, it's some um, work, well, yes. So it's, it's, not not it's not topological. It's not topological, I mean, you have filtration, but, and I think if you, 
It's only when you specialize it as generic you that you can use. Um, okay. Um, so and in particular, this algebra does this thing doesn't depend on Q, yes? Uh, yes, yes. That's the, yeah, yeah. Uh, map is obtained by uh, sending Q to zero. Right? That's right, that's right. Uh, okay, so uh, basically, uh, yeah, there are kind of, uh, probably won't have time to say much about the proof, but yes, there are kind of applications uh, and there are generalizations, so maybe uh, let me mention uh, the applications, but for the case, I mean, part of this is still conjectural, so more conjectural than others, but um, uh, so uh, now, so conjectures on compatibility. Um, compatibility. All the most characters. Okay, so uh, basically the. Uh, the value of characters is something that, you know, an attentive reader could just uh, um, extract by comparing to the, the, to the things I was saying. I mean, just there is a, uh, so given parameters, yes, you sign, we can form a representations, and okay, technically it should be a standard. So, uh, standard uh, uh, sign, and uh, the, its character is just a linear function of. On important. And if you look at this description, there is a you know, very natural linear function you can write. And it's going to be uh, our answer that we cannot put it at the moment. So, uh, later. so uh, yeah, so it's basically uh, so it's. Uh, uh, should be described as follows. Uh, um, namely, uh, okay, so we can have the C in the content. Uh, and then we said that this is just combining the quality of the roads is the sum over E of or L of E. So an, an element here can be written as collection. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, well, okay, so there's no reason. Oh, e U here can also write this. Deep side. And then um, linear functional here, you can just set F, so what we take F E, the restrict to Y equal to S. So this now becomes a locally constant function from the centralizer. And then we just compare it. It's a very natural, uh, natural answer. So this is, and uh, okay. So maybe let me uh, mention the second conjecture, which is uh, where we close it till the end. Um, okay. So so first of all, there is a theorem. Uh, I just uh, continue. Um, 
along the following lines. So there is a, a unipotent placenta, but it contains uh, the compound. Uh, so, so, so the PID group G, it contains a conjugation variant set, GC, it's just the union of compound subgroups, so the set of compound elements. So it just matrices whose eigenvalues are uh, invertible to PID. Just, and then you can just take uh, elements, uh, um, just geometrically the functions which are supported on the set. And since set of conjugation invariant, it induces like a direct sum splitting of the core center. Uh, so yeah, this is just the image of functions supported on GC. Image. Well, functions. Uh, uh, supported on G. And so the theorem is this huge compact part of the possibility. It's uh, I'll only give the last sum over the E in N modular integration. So this is the four left right. So of uh, on G E. Well, left right means that you impose this condition of both x and y. And uh, now you can kind of, so now this is already a symmetric in x and y, so I have this flip changing x and y. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, so just the image of functions supported on compact elements. And again, it's there, there, there is some. So, um, so now we have this flip. Uh, so, or L R, oops, uh, an evolution. So, this has uh, to do with the elliptic around a billion Fourier transform. So, I expect. And so, so conjecture two is that the image of these characters under the, the slip are the functions corresponding to uh, character shapes, important character shapes. On the loop group that were, and uh, yeah, so I. Uh, time, but yeah, I can find it. Uh, I have standard character. It is, I mean, so, so this um, uniform character shield by definition line from the elements. So, uh, I times x, y, two. I times x, y, two, y, x. Oh. Um, and yeah, so, so it defined by the chip. Um, And okay, let me uh, say kind of approach to uh, let me just say one um, word is um, um so compatibility uh, yeah so 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 okay two lines so a character shift on the parahori. D, it defines an it defines an object in the cost center uh, in uh, which we said uh, can be identified in the object chapter Z. 
And the uh, kind of key proposition is that this object can be obtained is a hodge graded of uh, explicitly of a character shift on G chap. Uh, so to 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 a character shift on or a query, one can assign a character shift on G chap and the image here. So so that the this is Segment. Okay, so in the remaining couple of minutes, maybe I uh, want to say words about generalization. So, um, well, uh, you can see there's a lot, still a lot to do here when trying to generalize it, but one reason is that, you know, you generalize and then there are easier special cases. And in fact, so the uh, Picture so the at least uh, the picture has a conjectural generalization to all that zero first uh, representations, but in particular. Uh, the uh, kind of uh, generic hospital or generic hospital uh, <laughs> uh, or like, the of like it's a generic hospital uh, that zero packets Uh, this actually, um, it follows, it's maybe not emphasized there, but it's, it follows from our existing paper. Um, the result of, um, not, this one is not in progress. Uh, uh, so. And then, as I said, there is a hope. Uh, so the program is to generalize it by that. And then um, the first step uh, is uh, in my paper in the trial. Okay, maybe I'll stop here. <laughs>